Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about a very important technique, web scraping. If you are a data analytics person, if you are working on data day in day out, you should know how to extract data from the websites. So web scraping means it is a process to extract content and data from a website. For example, right now I'm on a ESPN Crick Info website where you can see all the records related to cricket and all other stuff right so in this i have selected odis and i have also selected batting and in batting i have only selected team india so as you can see there are 244 records which has been displayed in five pages right so number one is sachin tandulkar with total number of runs 18,426 second is virat kohli with 12,344 so and so forth right so our objective is to get all the players details on my excel sheet or power bi right so first option is i'll just select this and i'll control c and control v paste in my excel same with the next four pages but that is not the right approach because what if you have 10 pages or 20 pages so you can't do this process again and again for each and every page that is time consuming and waste of time definitely right so how to do this so for this the first step is to copy the link of this website right and now i'll move into power bi this is a microsoft power bi this is a bi tool from microsoft it is used to visualize the data right so from here what i'll do is i'll click get data and I'll select web and I'll uh, paste the URL all right okay it might take some time so now the nav navigator pop-up has been displayed in the left side you will see the tables coming in all right so here this is the overall figure that we want as you can see you can see the column one is player names column two is span column three is number of matches played column four is innings so you can see all the data is all across all right i'll just select this table and i'll click on transform data So now we are on a power query editor in power bi right so now you can see this data in this data you can see first row is the header you can see first column it is showing player then in second it is showing span then matches innings not out so this first record should not be considered as a record it is a header so what i'll do is i'll click on this icon I'll click use first row as headers. So what the power bi will do, it will create this record as headers. Perfect. Now the data looks clean. Similarly, we need to fetch the data for other pages as well. So this is the page number one, 50 records for page two, three, four, and five. We need to have the records over here. So how to do that? So first of all, I'll just go to advanced editor, right? So this is the source. This is the source through which the data is coming here. We have to create the function. What I'll do is to create the function. I'll just create page start as text. All right. same thing in the page number instead of page number one i'll have ampersand page start again ampersand perfect so this what this will do this is like a dynamic number it will iterate till uh, the number of pages it is for example in our case we need to go from page number one till page number five so this particular
page start we'll do page one then page two page three page four page five without you doing anything all right so i'll click done so now this query has been converted into the function all right so now what i'll do is i'll create a blank query here i'll have numbers from one to five all right so this can be converted into the table here what i'll have to do is i have to invoke invoke the custom function through this i'll invoke overall figures as you can see in the page start you will you will get the column name which is column 1 all right so now i have selected column 1 in overall figures all right so it is showing errors what error it is we cannot convert the value 1 to type text all right so what mistake i have done is before invoking i have to convert this into text currently this is not text i'll convert this into text column now if we invoke it should work i'll just uh, select overall figures automatically column one is selected because there is only one column i'll click ok now you can see there are tables popping up for row number one i can see the table is 50 records starting from sachin tanulkar in row two the table it is starting from Ravin Chandran Ashwin till Kurasia, right? In table 3, you can see it is starting from Ishan Kishan, right? And finally, the table number 5, it is starting from SS Rawal. All right, so now we have the data, whatever was there on the website. So we have data for 244 records. So in case you had 20 pages, 100 pages, 2000 records, you can easily use this formula or technique. All right, so now next step is to expand the table. I'll just untick this and click OK. So all the data is popped up. Not only the first page, it is showing all the records. All right. So now you can change the table name. You can make it as best batsman India. All right. So whatever you want to name this table, right? So all right so what we can do is we can check this i'll just close and apply might take some time to create the connection as well All right, we can see there are some errors coming up while we are loading. Out of 244 rows, 26 errors are there. Let's see the errors. All right, so now I am getting all the records. There are some errors because of this. So for example, in high scoring column, you're not having any score because for example, Manpreet Goni, he never played, he played matches, but he never scored anything. So it is blank, right? So all these will come into errors. What we can do is in the power editor itself, we can clean this data and uh, 
then the error won't come but right now it is not required all right so now you have this data if, you, if i want to sort as you can see this is uh, the sorting is not happening properly for example after third you can see the fourth record abid ali he has total runs of 93 and Anil Kumble has 903. He should come before. Why is that happening? This might be the issue because of the data type. This data type can be uh, text, let's say, might not be the integer. That's why it's not being filtered properly. Let's see in the editor. We can see here itself. You can see here data type is text, right? All these are text. For example, if I change this to poll number. Yes. Now you can see this has been easily filtered now. You can see Sachin is number one, Kohli is number two, Ganguly is number three. So now you have the data set with you. You just need to drill down. For example, if you want to have a table or let's say visual bar chart with the names and runs. Right, this is the graph you can see Sachin Tanulkar is number one, second is Virat Kohli, third is Saurav Ganguly and so on and so forth. Alright, so uh, in this video you understood how the web scraping happens, right? So if you want to capture data from here, you can easily do using this technique. For example, if I go to test, right, and then I want to change for Team India, I want to have it for all across the world not just for india right so now you can see number of records are 3093 and number of pages are 62 so you can't manually just copy and paste each and every page right so you need to have a technique with you so that if there are n number of pages you can use this technique all right guys so this is it in this video if you really liked it please like and subscribe also share across with your friends so that they can understand this concept as well if you are in data analytics profile so these kind of concepts are really important web scrapping then how to clean the data data wrangling these concepts i'll cover in the future videos please subscribe so that you don't miss any video in the future i'll work on power bi as well how to set up the dashboard how to create the links, what are the relationships in this. So all these would be covered in my upcoming videos. Please stay tuned and please do subscribe. Thanks a lot guys.